Welcome to your lesson 2. Solving quadratic equation by factoring. In your previous grade, in grade 8, we already discussed about the different factoring techniques. We have the greatest common factor, the difference of 2 square, trinomial with the form x squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0, and trinomial in the form a, ax squared plus bx plus c is equal to 0. Let us discuss that one by one. And now let us start with the greatest common factor. Greatest common factor, that means we need to get or, or determine first the common factor. Let's try number one x squared minus 4x is equal to 0. First, determine the common factor of the coefficient. Then after that, the variable. For the coefficient, the common factor is 1. Let's proceed in our variable now. Our common factor for the variable is x because x is our lowest exponent. That means x times the other factor we need to divide. x squared divided by x, that is x. Negative 4x divided by x, that is negative 4. Okay, that is other factor. You can also check whether your factors are correct. So 4 times 4, x squared x times negative 4, negative 4x is equal to 0. Now we can get the value for x equate to 0. So x is equal to 0. And the other factor is x minus 4 is equal to 0. x is equal to 0. This is already our final answer. We can box it now. And the x sub 2, x sub 2, transpose negative 4 will become positive 4. That is our final answer. To further understand, let's have example number 2. Let's say we have 4x squared minus 6x is equal to 0. Find the common factor. Let's start with the coefficient. 4 and 6, what is the common factor? 2. And for the variable, the lowest exponent is x, so copy x. To find the other factor, divide 4x squared divided by 2x, that is 2. Negative 6x divided by 2x, that is negative 3. And now, output factor is equal to 0. Equate to 0. 2x is equal to 0. And the other factor is 2x minus 3 is equal to 0. To find x divided by 2, so x is equal to 0 divided by 2, that is 0. We can name us, we can name this as x of 1. Next, 2x transpose negative 3 will become positive 3. To find x, divide both equations by 2. The left side of the equation and the right side of the equation. So x is equal to 3 over 2. We can name that as x. So that is the diff, uh, that is the greatest common factor. And now let's have solving quadratic equation by factoring and now the difference of two squares. Take note that our given must be perfect squares. Example number three. 
x squared minus 9 is equal to 0. x squared is a perfect square. 9 is also a perfect square. So we can apply the difference of two squares. The other factors, factors are x and x for the x squared. And for the negative 9, that is negative 3 and positive. Negative 3 times 3 is negative 9. Now equate to 0. x minus 3 is equal to 0 and x plus 3 is equal to 0. Transpose x is equal to positive 3. We can name as x sub 1. And the other one is x is equal to negative 3. We can name that as x sub 1. For example, let's say we have 4x squared minus 25 is equal to 0. 4 is a perfect square. x squared is also a perfect square. 25 is a perfect square. So we can get the factors now. For 4x squared, the factors are 2x and 2x. For negative 25, that is positive 5 and negative 5. And now equate to 0. 2x plus 5 is equal to 0 and 2x minus 5 is equal to 0. Find the values for x. Transpose 2x is equal to negative 5. Divide by 2, x is equal to negative 5 over 2. That will be our x of 1. Next, transpose 2x is equal to 5. Divide by 2, x sub 2 will be 5 over 2. And that is the difference of 2 squared. And now let us proceed to the third kind of factoring, the trinomial in the form x squared plus bx plus c is equal to zero. Let's have example x squared plus 5x plus 6 is equal to zero. So the shortcut is, since we don't have a coefficient for x squared, we just need to focus on the constant term. In this case, we have 6. So find all the factors of 6. Factors of 6 are 6 times 1, 3 times 2, or 2 times 3, or 1 times 6. So those are the factors of 6. Our technique is the sum must be equal to the middle term. So in this case, we need to pick 3 times 2. That is 6. 3 plus 2, that is 5. So the factors now are x plus 3 times x plus 2 is equal to 0. It can also be x plus 2 times x plus 3. Yeah, that would be the same. Now we equate to 0. x plus 3 is equal to 0 and x plus 2 is equal to 0. Transpose. x is equal to negative 3. That would be our x sub 1. And the other one, x is equal to negative 2. will be our x sub Next, six example. Let's say we have m squared plus 8m plus 12 is equal to 0. Let us use the shortcut. Focus on the constant term. Find all the factors. Factors are 12 times 1. It can be 
1 times 12 or 4 times 2. A 4 times 2? No. This, this should be 6 times 2 or 2 times 6. The sum must be equal to the middle term, which is 8. So we're going to choose 6 times 2 because 6 plus 2 is 8. Factors now are m plus 6, m plus 2. Or it can be m plus 2 times m plus 6. Equate to 0. And now transpose. This can be our m sub 1 and m sub 2 will be negative. So that would be our third type of factoring. And now factoring in the form of ax squared plus bx plus z is equal to 0. In this case, it's kind of tricky because we're going to consider all the factors of the first term and of the constant term. To understand, let's have an example. Number 7. 2x squared plus 3x minus 14 is equal to 0. Consider all the factors of the first term. Factors can be 2 times 1 or 1 times 2. For the third term, negative 14, factors are negative 14 times 1 or 1 times negative 14. Also be negative 7 times 2 or negative 2 times 7. Then we're going to choose or we need to use the trial and error method. So in this case, we only have one factor for the first term. That is 2x times 1x or simply x. Choose. Let us try negative 14 times 1. Negative 14 times positive 1. Now let us check the middle term. To check the middle term, just multiply the outer to outer term, that is 2x, and inner to inner term, negative 14 times x, negative 14x. Add, that is negative 12, which is not equal to the middle term. That means that factor is incorrect. So let us change or try again. This time, I want to try negative 7 plus 2. So negative 7 and positive 2. Outer to outer, that is 2x times 2, 4x. Inner to inner, negative 7 times x, negative 7x. 4x minus 7x, that is negative 3x. Still, they are not equal. So these factors are also wrong. Try another one. Let us try negative 2 and 7. Negative 2 and 7. Or negative 2 and 7. 2x times 7, that is 14. Okay, let us try positive 7, then negative 2. Let's try now, outer to outer, 2x times negative 2, negative 4x. 7 times x, positive 7x. Add, that is 3x. They are now the same. That means our factors are correct now, finally. Now, equate to zero. 
2x plus 7 is equal to 0 and x minus 2 is equal to 0. Transpose 2x is equal to negative 7. Divide by 2. So x sub 1 is negative 7 over 2. Next, x sub 2 is transpose positive. Another example, our last example, number 8, 4x squared plus 27x minus 7 is equal to 0. Get all the factors of 4. That is 4 times 1, 1 times 4, 2 times 2. And the factors of 7, negative 7, negative 7 times 1 or negative 1 times 7. And use the trial and error. So first, let us try 4x times x. And in this case, negative 1, I will choose negative 1 times 7, plus 7. Now, let us check. Outer to outer. 4x times 7, 28x, inner to inner, negative 1 times x, negative x. 28x minus x, that is 27x. Are they the same? Yes, that means our factors are correct. Now, equate to 0. So, 4x minus 1 is equal to 0, and x plus 7 is equal to 0. 4x is equal to transpose negative 1, that is 1. So now, divide by 4. x sub 1 will be positive 1, 4. The other one, x sub 2 is equal to negative 7. And now, we're done in our lesson 2, solving quadratic equation by factoring.